Hey guys, today is Saturday and I am continuing to work on my mobile app. Last week I made some very crucial updates. I added a new model for financial transactions, created the necessary tables and wrote Autodesk for them. Today I will be writing essentially the functionality to perform these financial transactions. Also, I wanted to mention that I found a designer who is currently working on improving the app's existing UI, as the design I created just sucks. As you probably understood, I still haven't set up the environment on my Mac Studio to develop the mobile app, so today I am again working from my laptop. But thanks to the guys from Ivan Kai, today's work will be significantly easier. They sent me their docking station for free, so I could test it and give my honest opinion on this product. The package contains the docking station itself and a power adapter for it. The most important thing for me is to have the ability to connect two monitors, and this docking station allows connecting to 4K monitors, which is totally perfect. This device requires two inputs, but the advantage is that it also charges my MacBook, so it's not a problem at all. The docking station has 12 available ports for all the devices I use every day, but the biggest advantage for me is the high-speed USB ports, as I often work with my external storage devices, and data transfer speed is really important to me. In addition, I'd like to highlight separately the build quality of this docking station, which is at a very high level. Those who use similar devices definitely know how important this is. I do recommend this product and plan to use it in the future, for example on trips or just as I do now. Alright, let's get back to the app. The functionality for financial operations should include the following features. Replenishing a money account from a money source, for example, when receiving a salary. Transferring funds from one money account to another. Adding an expense by transferring money from the money account to the expense category. And allocating money for a saving goal, which is also a transaction with the money account. So let's start with the first point. Replenishing a money account from a money source. As always, I begin writing functionality by creating automatic tests, because they not only reduce the number of potential bugs, but also help to delve deeper into the task requirements. I'll remind you that I used the PyTest library for testing. Additionally, to follow to code style, I also have the linter Flake 8 installed. I write positive and negative tests for the functionality of transferring money from a money source to a money account. Last time I usually wrote only positive tests, as the functionality I created was standard, but this time I am also adding negative tests because this code is custom and needs to be thoroughly tested. Ok, the tests are written, I run PyTest, see a bunch of failures, so everything is ok, let's move forward. Next, I add the functionality of replenishing the money account using the money source. The essence of this logic is that I, as a user, can have a job or another source of income, which I call a money source. For example, if I received a salary to my money account, I have to specify exactly how I received this money, meaning from which money source I need to transfer this money. Well, the code for this part is done, let's test. I run PyTest again and see a lot of errors. The thing is, the auto-formatter decided to remove the imports used for fixtures in my test, so they stopped running. 
Also, one of the serious issues is that I forgot to write the functionality for negative value validation, but my test reminded me about it. I fixed these issues, rerun the test, and everything is fine now. Great, I move on to transferring funds from one money account to another. This operation is very similar to the previous one, but has an important distinction. In this scenario, money is transferred not from a money source to a money account, but from a money account to another money account. So, we continue. I add positive and negative tests. As I've already said, in terms of functionality, this service is quite similar to the previous one. So, I can reuse the automated test from the account replenishment functionality. I just need to switch the money source model to the money account. Then, I run the tests. They, of course, don't pass. And after that, I add the functionality to transfer money from one account to another. The code for transferring between accounts is added, I run the test and receive an error although I didn't expect one. It turned out that I made a typo twice. I corrected this unpleasant bug, reran the tests and it is working. So far, everything is going quite well. The next two steps are adding expenses and allocating money for a saving goal. This functionality is quite similar to what I have already written, so I'll reuse the test templates as well as the classes and validators for the operation. This should speed up the completion of the basic services of this model. Everything is as always. I add tests, they show errors, then I add logic for operations, rerun the test, and everything is working as it should. So, the basic services for operations between my entities are written. What can I say? Previously, I didn't use test-driven development that often. But you and I can see with our own eyes how useful it is. Already at this stage of development, I was able to catch about a dozen bugs that I would have had to fix anyway. So, automated tests not only help get rid of unnoticed and sometimes very stupid bugs, but thanks to them I also feel more confident about the code I write. Thank you friends for watching my video, my next one is supposed to be in the classic day in the life format. See you next time!